learning objectives after studying this learning module students will be able to state the meaning and need of accounting discuss accounting as a source of information identify the internal and external users of accounting information explain the objectives of accounting describe the role of accounting explain the basic terms used in accounting state the meaning and need of accounting introduction to accounting traditionally accounting was used just for bookkeeping process but now it is also used in the preparation of financial reports accounting is a process of recording classifying and summarizing financial transactions in a significant manner analyzing business profits or loss for a given period is truly easier using this process meaning of accounting meaning of accounting has been specified in the given diagram it helps in identifying measuring recording and communicating the required financial information to the interested users relevant aspects of accounting economic event it is known as a happening of consequence to a business organization which consists of financial transactions accounting as a source of information maintaining and providing the right information at the right time has become the utmost concern of accounting it is an interlinked activity that starts with the calculation of business transactions and ends with the preparation of appropriate financial statements information at every step Accounting process generates information at every step. The main objective of accounting information is to facilitate relevant information among different interested users to make the right and effective decision. Provide complete information for predicting and evaluating the business flow. Provide appropriate qualitative characteristics of accounting information qualitative characteristics are the features of accounting information which are useful in increasing its understandability and provide a great experience to the interested users a perfect accounting information must be possessed the characteristics of reliability relevance understandability and comparability reliability the accounting information should be reliable it can be evaluated by the degree of correspondence between what the information provides about the business trans objectives of accounting the main objective of accounting is to provide useful information to the interested group of users accounting objectives are classified into different sections managing accounting records in the business there are numbers of transactions that a human brain can't be able to remind in order to remind all the entries a systematic accounting record should be maintained calculation of financial report for a specific accounting period an income statement profit and loss account is prepared based on the systematic record to ascertain financial position to understand role of accounting and its key terms role of accounting accounting is the art of recording business transactions it analyzes the enterprise data through proper measurement classification and summarization It is useful in presenting data in the form of statements and records.
It helps interested users to understand the financial condition of the business operation. Key Terms of Accounting Entity An entity is an economic unit that is accounted separately. Example Big Bazaar, Reliance Fresh, etc. Transaction It is a business activity in terms of cash or credit. Example Purchase of Goods, Receipt of Money, etc. Cash Transaction and Credit Purchase when a customer pays immediately after buying a product or services, then it is called cash transaction. But when cash Key terms of accounting Capital It refers the amount or asset which is invested in the business by businessman or owner of a business. It is shown as capital on the liabilities side of the balance sheet. Capital is equal to assets minus liability. Sales. Sales are total amount of goods which are sold and services are rendered. Revenues. Revenue is the amount earned by a business owner after selling its products or services. Expenses. It is the cost of use of services or products for the purpose of earning revenues. Example, salary, daily wages, rent, etc. Expenditure. Spending money for some benefit, service or return is called expenditure. Example, purchase of goods, machinery and furniture, salary, rent, etc. Expenditure can be capital or revenue expenditure. Revenue expenditure. If the benefit of expenditure is less than a year, then it is called revenue expenditure. Example, commission, legal expenses, insurance, advertisement, printing charges, etc. Capital expenditure. If the benefit of expenditure is more than a year, then it is called capital expenditure. Example, computer equipment, office equipment, land, machinery, etc. Profit. It refers the positive performance of the business and increases the owner's equity. Profit is equal to revenue minus expenses. Gain. A business profit that comes from transactions which are incidental. Example, profit on the sale of fixed assets, winning a court case, etc. Loss. When a business expense is more than its income, then it is called loss. It decreases the owner's equity. Loss is equal to expenses minus revenue. Discount. It is the reduction in the cost price of the goods sold. Broadly, the discount is divided into two types. Trade. The discount which offered by a manufacturer at the list price of a product to the reseller. Cash discount. The deduction allowed by the seller of goods in order to encourage a customer to pay within a specified time. Voucher. It is reliable documentary evidence in support of a transaction. Example. Purchase of goods on cash, cash memo or receipt. Goods. It refers to the products in which the business unit is dealing. That is, in terms of which it is buying and selling or producing and selling. Drawings. Drawings are any amount taken out of the business for the owner's own personal use. Purchases. Purchases are the total amount of goods obtained by an enterprise for resale or for use in the production of goods in the normal course of business. Stock. It is the unsold goods in the business. There are two types of stocks. Opening stock. Stock of goods at the beginning of the business is known as opening stock. Closing stock. Stock of goods at the end of the business is known as closing stock. Debtors. 
Debtors are the person from whom the amounts are due for goods sold or services rendered on credit basis. Creditors. Creditors are the person to whom the amounts are due for goods purchased or services rendered on credit basis. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt in this module. Accounting is a process of identifying, measuring, recording the business transactions and communicating thereof the required information to the interested users. Accounting as a source of information system is the process of identifying, measuring, recording and communicating the economic events of an organization to interested users. Accounting information is used by various internal and external parties such as present and potential investors and creditors. Accounting information is also important to those having indirect financial interest such as regulatory agencies, tax authorities, customers, labor unions, trade associations, stock exchanges and others. Basically,